today's episode of Susie's Tasty Adventures into the Past, we're going to the past. I know, I know it seems like we'd already be going to the past, but you can't always be sure. Okay, you better not say anything or I'm going to stab you. Thank you. Y'all can't see him, but there's somebody over there and over there, and they are ever Okay, okay, okay. Come, come, come closer. Come closer. Come closer. I said back up! So, we going back about 75 million years ago to the time of the Velociraptor, okay? Okay, okay. Now, let me tell you something about the Velociraptor. The Velociraptor is this cool thing called a Dramiomasaur. It's like some sort of dinosaur thing, and like, it's a dinosaur. Okay, so the dinosaur has some like talent thing. Like, <laughs> the talent. Talent in. Y'all better get out of my house. <laughs> get out of my house. Where'd he go? Where, where is he? Where is the... Alright, this is extremely dangerous to have the beautiful Velociraptor disappear. Ah! Oh my god! Okay, okay. Quick PSA. Public service announcement. Now, when, when you are filming Velociraptors, don't approach the Velociraptor, because Velociraptors will kill you, okay? Okay, back to the story. So, Velociraptors are found in what we call present-day Mongolia. But the thing is, there are only like two different types of Velociraptors. My, my tie's getting dirty. And, you know, like, in, in, in a lot of movies, Velociraptors are portrayed as these tall, scary-looking things, okay? It's not really true. Velociraptors were only about 1.5 feet tall, but about almost 7 feet long, okay? They also had little cool feather things on them. They looked like little birds running around. They couldn't fly, but they had feathers. I don't get it, but whatever, okay? So, moving on. So, we not really sure if they hunted in packs or not, but like the Velociraptor we count, it was acting weird, okay? I ain't never seen no Velociraptor do a backflip. 